and again and again pastor will preach and say you have to know who you are you have to know who you are you have to know who you are I thought I did because I, I know I'm a child of God but it didn't make practical meaning on a practical sense going on the street solving life problem every day it didn't make practical sense it has dawned on me that majority of us are doing a theoretical practice of religion and theoretical practice of religion will never save anybody and there are some of the us who have defined their identity by do doctrinal position to say you see in our church we don't believe um, we don't believe in this we don't believe in that and we feel that's what makes us very important and some gone ahead to define themselves by their accent I speak English with a British accent some of us have defined who we are by the size of our wardrobe how old was Elizabeth when she took it go and check church history it, now if they tell you that your grandmother is pregnant now there are some people now when they give birth all of us will cause they say he never still do he never still do uh, when will you not, will you be doing school run at 96 come on friends a relationship with God many of us mm, don't have experience is what your pastor told you is what the neighbors told you you have never come to that point where you say for certainty this is who God is and as the year comes to an end that's that's what I want you to review about your life I want us to review when I say I'm a child of God what does it mean on a practical on a practical level pragmatic solutions to being a child of God now may I say to you the majority of us the day we answer this question you have solved two problems for me the first problem is your belief the second problem is your behavior he said because of this decision we don't evaluate people by what they have or how they look if you evaluate people by their looks you'll be wrong the person you are trying to be like is trying to be like someone else the person you are crying at night that how I wish my life is like you can be surprised what the person's problems are they got it wrong with Jesus because they looked at his background they looked at who his mother was please may I beg you stop summarizing people from the outside you will always be wrong don't summarize people by their car by where they walk don't summarize people by who are their friends when what you are on the outside doesn't match what you are on the inside you have an identity problem I need to explain that I need to explain it now you may come into this place we look at you you look all together you iron your trousers very well you iron your clothes touch them a powerful perfume is coming around you we look around you you are all together all together a complete gentleman and an officer but on your inside you are a thug you are an abil is an identity crisis Now, if it is Pastor Ben that is here, you know, he's very gentle. Pastor Ben is a gentleman in everything he does. Plus night dress. I'm telling you the truth. In everything he does. The way he preaches here is the way he is. That's the way he relates. And sometimes I say this for Pastor gentility. I want to copy it. So I can be behaving like that. I liked it. I saw it. I liked it. I used two years to try. I was depressed. I was very depressed. But I was trying hard. So I went to meet him and I said, if I'm like you, I won't live long ago. Because Pastor Ben can be here, you are doing something wrong. He'll be looking at you. And smiling. And he can stomach it. And then he will call you 
for you to find how you, this, he said, this mess you create. I don't have time to wait for you to create the mess. I won't wait for you to finish it. I will catch you halfway through. Anywhere, even if it's a ring road. And I'm looking for you. I've been looking for you. He said, you are coming. You, are coming. you don't come. I said, I said, message, stop, stop, moto, stop, stop. I don't catch you. Dion, stop. Before she stop, my leg don't come out. Oh, dear, come, come, come. God never catch you today. Now, I said, hey, see that woman when they pray for you. I said, Nami, wait. Come, oh, dear. Now, even that's the way I am here. Fem Foundation International presents Adilam School of Worship. This is a training session for musicians, actors, poets, and artists. The date for this training is 26 November 2016. Time 9 a.m. Venue Fem Foundation, number 5 Eregbini Crescent, off Idenya Road, off Ihama Road, GRA, Benin City. For more inquiries, please call. 0708-875-3115. The governor's wife attended church here, very close to my sister. I preached and preached and preached. I removed shoe. Ah! She met my sister in overseas and said, Guy, said, I went to one church today. See the pastor decrease. And that day, you know, there was a time we used to wear filler. Obu, get in this church. I don't preach, preach, preach one day. Re remove cap. Remove them. I don't know say I remove them more. I just move and feel like this. I say, hey, hey, continue. And when I'm moving the shoe, I won't remove it next day. I say, and the God has spent on the Lord said that we should. If you meet me at home, my shoe can go in those two places. If what if you come and that's why I tell people if you are a thief, tell me. You know why? You saved me two things. You saved me going to ask God who stole, and you saved me accusing every other person. So if shoe is missing, and I just ask them, ah, did blessing come here? He say, I phone. I say, blessing. How are you? Have you eaten today? How is your family? Uh, quickly bring that shoe you took. It's okay, mama. mama. I say, no, I won't accuse you. I won't ask you whether you stole it. Say, ah, which day will you bring it? Say, I bring it by four. So by four, he brings the shoe. I say, thank you so much. Don't take another one. Yeah. Who you are on the inside has to match who you are on the outside. It has to. So that 75% of your problems are solved. So when you go to God, your prayer will align. Are we together? I think they went and made me up. I was going to preach in one church for other places. They went and made me up professionally. The person that made me up was rejoicing. Wanted to use me as model. I have not preached up to 10 minutes. I used handkerchief like this. And she taught me how to clean face. So she said, she just damp. Did you get? I said, yes. That I, did you get? I, I have room done like this. I said, I have cleaned it. Sorry, you do it again. I continued. Come on. Who you are on the inside. Don't come and pretend you are Queen Eliza. When we know that you are not Queen Eliza, you are Elizabeth. Queen, no day. That's identity problem. Women, do you understand it now? It helps you with as will be buying. It helps you. Now, this teaching helps you with everywhere. Because most times when women gather together in a function, you go see forming of all, of all kinds. Are you, I, am I together? I'm going to inform you one day. He said, he said, mama, you won't believe this. He said, this is the shocker. A girl in the school, she admired very together. Everything about that girl is posh, civilized, finesse style. So they were going to buy popcorn. I only was behind, waiting for the girl. Say, hey, what up? You got puff, uh, popcorn? I only say popcorn. Now, 
she tried to summarize everything she had known about this girl and then put it in the context of this. It didn't match. Popcorn. And she's saying popcorn in a, in a foreign accent. Just like those of us who speak, you speak English, Bini English, with a British accent. Lift your hand and say, Father, I need help. Say it again. Create a false mask to hide the true you. Or we must put on something to hide the true negative feelings you have on the inside. The question is to deal. We need to deal with the thing causing us the negative feeling. This identity thing is like someone who used a very expensive lace to cover a mountain of feces. We need to deal with the physics. So it's time to take off the facade. That's the reason why sometimes here we don't talk to one another. You see your, your brother or sister in the market, you pretend you don't know the person. Are we together? I don't know that I'm helping anybody today. If you find yourself unhappy, depressed and in tears because you wish you are someone else, you have a challenge. You know why people go for external appearance? For admiration. When people see me, they will admire me. You know why people go for accomplishment? For recognition. We need to change the intention. The reason we dress well is not just, it's not someone to admire. Because you can come and say, oh, nobody admires you. Haven't you dressed up some, one day? And you came out, nobody ever said anything. You're looking, you've now been wondering, am I looking nice? I dress up. I'm going to give you the answer very shortly. All these things I'm, say, I'm saying necessarily will not produce inner peace or maturity. If I've accomplished so much for me to receive awards, I want you to look at life. Where, have, where are you writing your name? See, I want all of us to change the world. All of us. Look at the things, the, the, where the enemy take stone you in the past. Let it become a ministry for the future. If you are sick, look for people who are sick and pray for them. Look at everywhere the enemy used to bring disadvantage in your life. Form a ministry out of that. And you can't do it alone. Life does not happen alone. Life happens in a group of 3 to 15 people. That's why the lion lives in a pride of 3 people. I'm sorry, this is not a said you were expecting to hear. All these things I have said to, so far, none of them can make you feel loved unconditionally. I am tired of buying love. I'm tired of behaving in a manner for you to love me. I want to get to the point where I don't have to pay for your love. I don't have to buy it by good behavior. What did you use to buy the love of God? If we are people who look like God, we should love people. Approval is different from acceptance. I love you and accept you. I might not approve of your behavior. But I won't make you pay for love. Love is free. I won't make you perform for me to love you. Love is free. That's what causes identity problem. Foundation International presents Adilam School of Worship. This is a training session for musicians, actors, poets, and artists. The date for this training is 26 November 2016. Time 9 a.m. Venue Fem Foundation, number 5 Eregbini Crescent, off Idenya Road, off Ihama Road, 
GRA Benin City. For more inquiries, please call 0708 875 3115. Many of us, you have always performed for love. You have given. The reason why you gave this, you gave that, you gave that, you gave that, you, and you kept giving is because you want to buy the person's affection and you want to buy the person's love. Now, you have spent all of that. You have everything, but you're still only. So, now you have stolen the allocation for the state, stolen the, the, the stolen, stolen. You have, you have acquired so much, you still have not found wholeness and meaning. That's, I've gone from performance to accomplishment. You still have, you have slept with, you have power dynamic, the amount of women I can crush. Now you have crushed 25 women. You still, the loneliness on the inside is still there. All those women are crying that you broke their heart. But you that broke their heart, your heart is not mended. This is deep. Now you have succeeded in using your, your body to pick up money from the cream de la cream, from the big wigs. You have picked up money. Now you have five, you are worth five billion. How come you still haven't found meaning? Because when you find meaning, there is the difference between success and fulfillment. Or success and significance. Nelson Mandela was not the richest man in the world. But the day he died, the world stood still. There's a woman I used to respect. Even at death, I will continue to respect her. Lady Diana. Died very young. The day Lady Diana died, listen to me, was stood still. What was she on about? She gave herself to this project that has to do with landmines. As royalty, there are some kind of people she was not meant to hug. She hugged someone that had either leprosy or something. What about Mother Teresa? Go and go go Heidi Baker. Heidi Baker was born in the U.S. Now she is living in Mozambique among the poorest of the poor, taking care of orphans and doing crusades. If you see her, she looks like a model. Go and go, go, Heidi Baker. Put your, go, go, Heidi Baker. Listen to her messages. That I married the best. I married the most handsome man. I married the richest. I married the finest. I married the tallest. It's in your pocket. We don't care. Because sometimes, some of us are too preoccupied with the challenges we are going through to recognize how handsome or how wonderful, how powerful your car is. You don't know. We attended your wedding. Yes, everywhere was so beautiful. It looked like heaven on earth. But we can't re the memories. We can't use it to do anything. How do you change your behavior without changing your beliefs? Say, I want to have a child. So you run around to all the bed centers. You run everywhere. Meanwhile, in your belief system, there is something that has said that it is your stepmother in the village that has not allowed you to give birth. That until that stepmother dies, you won't give birth. That's what you believe. Now, you are running around anywhere. Listen to me. That belief system that that woman has to die for you to give birth is what will determine your behavior. Come on. Whether the woman dies or she's alive, I have made up my mind that children does not come from her. That is what I want you to think. She is poor and jobless. So if she has taken you as a job, you can also do what? Refuse. 
One day we were playing in a uh, firm corporate. One of my friends by Salilian came. I said, I put it to you. She's a lawyer that you have not been checking on me. He said, I put it out. When the enemy says that your children will not amount to anything, he has put it to you. Woman of God, put it When the enemy says to you that because everybody in your family, all their marriages failed, and he said, I now put it to you. What do you do, my dear? Take and now put a man. I put it out. Because the devil can't touch you without your permission. It was Bishop Oedipo that said, wife came from the hospital and said, the doctor said, that she has miscarried. She said to the woman, go and give me my food. And I love them, patients. He said, who talk her? Hi! Am I talking to you? When the witches in your family have gathered and have decided on what you be, Please, re-decide on the reality. Listen to me. There are two kinds of reality. The first reality is objective. The second reality is subjective. Feng Foundation International presents Adilam School of Worship. This is a training session for musicians actors, poets, and artists. The date for this training is 26 November 2016. Time, 9 a.m. Venue, Fem Foundation. Number 5, Eregbini Crescent, off Idenya Road, off Ihama Road, GRA, Benin City. For more inquiries, please call 0708-875-3115.